Hello, uglies. Hello, uglies. Hello, uglies. Ooh, hello, and welcome to I Am H U. In my homosexual opinion. I'm Dobby. And I'm Alexis P. Bevels. The P stands for pot, comma, crop. Why? Because crop pots. Mm. We are here to talk about Dragula. We're sorry we missed last week, but we're not sorry because we're going to do a double up this week. Yes, we're doing a two part in one, okay, episode. What we were kind of promised. We're going to double Dragula, fist you. To be honest. So thank you for your patience. My back is feeling 40% better. The doctor said it'd be about 50 to 60% better by now, but right now it's at 40%. It's, it's, a, it's a tight 40. Yeah. How are you? I voted yesterday. I traversed the tundra. Right. The, so cold. The monsoon. No, it wasn't cold. 60 degrees. But when I went out. And it, rainy. It was raining and on my side of the and street. real rain. It was real rain. Mm -hmm. And on my Flash side light. of the street, all of the water was like super high to the point where my voting location was only three blocks away. But every block, I couldn't just cross. I had to go all the way down. Would you say that you had to go... Around the river bend? Just around the river bend. I look once more. <laughs> Just go, go, free. I forgot the words. Oh my <laughs> God. That scared me. But yeah, but then I did vote. And then there was a pie. Because, okay, I have voted a lot. I have missed some before it was popular to like... But like since Obama, since Obama, People I have voted. Can check that. Yeah, I was not, I was not socially responsible, and now I am trying at least. But I've never been offered or gotten an I voted sticker, ever. Wow. Even the times that I have voted, and there was a pile there. First of all, you got to register at your voting place. Yeah, so since we just moved here, Curtis and I... I, thought, I also just moved here. I thought it... Auto oh, I forgot. Welcome. I thought it automatically, when we did the mail forwarding with the post office and we click change voter registration, I thought that that counted. It doesn't. You still have to, like, register. But yeah, I did it, like, in California, we're allowed to do it at the polls. Which I heard, which and is it awesome. encouraged me to go. So I went, traversed the floods, and it wasn't quite as easy for me. They were like, you're going to do a provisional ballot, and then yeah. they'll... Oh, that's what you did? Yeah. Okay, so that's what I did. She was just didn't know how to do it, so she was scared. Anyway, I did my poll, I did my voting, and then I'm looking at this stack of stickers, and I'm handing her my envelope, and, and she hands me a little slip, and I'm like, kind of eye on the stickers, and she's she just didn't give me one, so I never got my vote. You didn't sticker. say it? What well, you say it. You say, can I have one, please? I want to be it. offered. How are, you gonna, how are you gonna give your voice to the country for democracy, and then ignore your own voice? For you. Here's the thing. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Well, I've watched a lot of documentaries about voting. Here's the thing. I didn't want to simply ask for a sticker. She had the sheets where they were all you just peel off and stick. And I didn't want to stick it on my outfit. It was raining. I, I, you know, I wanted it on the paper still so I could peel it off and stick it on something later. She had a stack of the ones cut ready to go. And then she had more close to her. She had the, the paper with all of the pe and I So I didn't want to ask for a sticker just for her to be like, here you go, to peel one fresh one. You know what I mean? I just didn't want to, I didn't want to do it, deal with it. Plus it was raining. My old lady was very excited to give me a sticker. And I have to be honest with you, I was very excited to take it. And she was like, do you want a sticker? Like, and she's kind of giggling, smiling because she knows everyone wants a sticker. It's why we did it. And so I said, yeah, that's why I'm here. Ha ha ha. And she was like, ha ha ha. And then I walked out with a sticker. And I have to say, I felt better than everyone else. And I just kept kind of like leaning my chest out, you know, the good side with the sticker. I also, the night before, okay, my local movie theater, our yeah. local movie theater, okay. does a mystery movie Monday. Ooh, sounds like a nightmare. Well, okay, but the end of this week, Black Panther Wakanda Forever is coming out. So I looked and it was two showings and at like 11 a.m. that day, they were all sold out. And I'm part of the club, so it was like a free movie or whatever. Part of the club. And so I was like, oh, wait a minute. This could be Black Panther. Like, someone knows something. I'm going to see Black Panther Wakanda Forever before everyone else. I wondered how you got to that. Because when you are like, it could be Wakanda Forever. And I was like, you're not known for your research. Well, because it, it's an advanced screening of a movie that's coming out usually in that week. Mm. Or the, ne the next couple of weeks. So I thought, maybe it's Black Panther. But maybe it's the menu. That new movie. I want to see that. That one looks so scary. It makes food look terrifying. Which is part of the dining well, I wanna, experience. I want to see it. So I go. I'm so excited. Excited. And my favorite seat is available. Back row on the end so I can go pee as many times as I want without yeah, annoying anyone. It was open. It was free. I get there. I, I have like a wonderful day. It was overcast and rainy all day. 
my perfect weather. The preview start. I go to the bathroom again just because I have to get it out of the, you know, of as much course. as before. Yeah. And then the movie starts. On the screen is the Apple TV logo. It's not Black Panther. It's a dumb Apple TV movie. That's not good. No. And What was that? Well, so I was pissed. I was really disappointed for about two minutes because what it was was this movie not sponsored, called Spirited. And it's by the people that brought you the music of La La Land. The music of La La Land. The black Pasek people. and Paul. Well, because isn't La La Land two white people teaching us about jazz? Isn't that the whole thing of La La Land? Oh, did you not watch it? The songs were snappy. Will Ferrell has a lovely voice. Ryan Reynolds has a lovely voice. Octavia Spencer, a lovely voice. And it's kind of a new take on the idea of oh, Scrooge. yes. I want to watch that at and home. And listen, listen. The sky is blue, Ryan Reynolds is hot. We all know that. But it's a return to, like, goofy, funny Ryan Reynolds. Oh, like Just Friends Ryan Reynolds. And he is so hot. Yeah. It's a really sweet story, and it's really fun. And don't go see it in the theater, but do watch it on Apple TV if you have I did it. see a, a... You would like it. I, I plan on watching it. Yeah. I love a Christmas movie. I actually would watch it again. I think it... It's not the new Elf, because Elf is... But it's like close, I think. Ooh, is that wrong? I don't know. I haven't seen it. But I did watch one of the new Hallmark Christmas movies last night. I got a little high. Ooh. CBD THC for your little backy. Oh, your back pain. Yeah. Feels wonderful. A I got a little high. For your chronic. Decided to watch Lights, Camera, Christmas. The whole thing is like he's king of Christmas movies. Like they're commenting. It's meta, okay? They're commenting on themselves. Loved it. The movie as a whole, it's not good. Of course not. That's the not dialogue, why you watch it. That's garbage. not why you watch this. Leading man, strange. Okay, I love a hot dum dum, but he was hot dummy kind of funny. You got a little extra. You got a little extra, which was off putting because you know the girl is always homely and mad. So I recommend if you have Peacock when you're done watching Murder She Wrote and Quantum Leap. Oh, what? Start watching Christmas movies. Lindsay Lohan's coming out soon. Thank God. Lindsay Lohan. Thank movie. God. Re-recorded Jingle Bell Rock. Yeah, but Darby, we're not here to talk about oh, these. okay. We're not here to talk about Christmas movies. We're here to talk about Dragula. Episodes 2 and Episodes 3. Which is we're doing a Christmas double whammy. I've got to say, do you miss the little boule skits now that they're gone? Because they they're doing a whole season encompassing one. Like, they're not doing individual little skits every episode. Do you miss that? I do and I don't. Th thank you. Okay. That's exactly what I wanted I to say. I do and I don't. Because here's the thing. It was fun to talk about. It's fun to talk about. Didn't necessarily need to watch them all. Didn't need to watch them. But I. But now that they're but gone, it's like, Now what? that they're gone. No, I just mean that like now we have, we have a lot of time with the monsters in the workroom. And we have a lot of time to deep dive into the same problem over and over and over for many, many minutes in many different scenes. I do wish there was something else like the skit to just take up some time. Because we're getting a lot of time. We're getting a lot of time a lot in the long table. We're getting a lot of time. And we're also missing, I mean, the fright feats are the extermination challenges. But still. But I do kind of miss the extermination challenge because it was like after the rulings or whatever, the deliberations, it was like, oh, we still got a good chunk left. But I'm not complaining. I like it. I love oh, Titans. I am complaining, but I do like it a lot. Oh. And they didn't for this episode, but then no one could watch the extermination anymore. Like for a Boar's extermination, everyone watched and they were like, oh, gag. Oh, so it was And a... so the rest, now they're doing the whole go back in and like, oh my God. Who's going to come back? Who's going to come back? So they do go back to that That's for episode fun. three. So that was really fun. I really liked that. I forgot about that even. Now, for this episode, they're sitting around, they're all chatting about Abora and her leaving early and what that means. Bitch. And then Abora walks in with coffee or whatever she had in that baby's head. Abora is a back. It's giving Art Simone. Clearly the producers, they got too far into it. They couldn't save Abora, so they just brought her back. Yeah, it, it, it was with li very little explanation. It was absolutely a correction of their mistake. Yes, I'm happy she's back. No, 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 I know. I'm just saying it might as well have been lit the fuck up. Like, hey, production made a mistake. Abora is like 80% of everyone's storyline. I don't know that it was a mistake. I think they just didn't really contextualize why they brought... Like, I think they always knew they were going to not send someone home the first time. 
Or oh. or maybe they didn't. I just didn't know why they were like. Just give us a reason. It doesn't have to be real. Just say like, haha, careful what you wish for, ladies. You wanted her gone. She's back. Instead, Abora walks in the room herself and is like, you know, they're not gonna send anyone home the first day, and then that's it. Yeah, it was very confusing. And they do another similar thing in the next episode. If y'all aren't watching, Sloppy Seconds is doing Spooky Seconds, and they're reviewing Dragula as well. Meatball of Dragula fame. Fortune. Some, yes, some yes, 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 yes. She's like, if you know Abora, if you meet Abora, you want her back. Like, she's so talented. I understand why no. the other monsters want her back. And I agree. I adore her. I know she's chaotic. And Oh, but, but I, here's the thing. I love watching it. I know. Even though, like, you were just, oh, like, we were just saying, like, it's a lot of them talking in the long table room about this love. But... I love it. I, I kind of need it. Yeah. I like this drama. And yeah. I won't say... Um, You're in love. Thank you. Mm. Um, I love your I get eyes it. tonight. I get it. Thank you. I love your eyes tonight. You look so... The purple with the black. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, that was a powerful reaction, and I'm really sorry about that. That's okay. Listen, consent is important. <laughs> you know what? She I was said scared. no, and you know what I said? Got it. I didn't know what was happening. I thought we were going to hug. And then I saw your open mouth and I thought, oh God, you're going to smell my bad coffee breath. Yeah, it's the coffee. Okay. What were you saying? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I screamed in your no, mouth. No, that's okay. <laughs> oh, I was going to say that all these people kind of having dalliances and flirtations with Abora. And I was going to say, I get it. I get it. And then I get why they all pull back immediately. 100% after. feel the exact same way. Because it's intense. intense. It's intense. The reason you're attracted to it. Okay. I won't say specifically Abora, but the reason you're attracted that, to that, that is the same reason that once you get to it, you're like, oh, wait, let me pull back. Let's talk about the Fright Feet, which is burn the witch. They have to eat very, very spicy things and then the winner gets to curse someone with not being able to wear a wig for the main challenge. Love that idea. Love that prize. Yes, it is funny. So the, they're eating all the chili stuff. I don't like watching people eat hot stuff because you no. know it's the mucus. It's oh the mucus. Oh my God, yes. I don't like seeing and those, mucus. Well, oh my God, when they were going the second round where they had to eat everything again, Erica and Abora, it it's was because ooh. they finished the game that was not supposed to be finishable. And they were like, okay, uh, now eat everything again. Because they had no do other you plan, think, I love that. Do you you think you could have gotten past the first one no. or would have tried to no, get past listen, the first one? No, listen, I... No, me neither. White, white culture. Remember last week when I excitedly announced to you I started using Taco Bell hot sauce and not just mild sauce? <laughs> yeah. That has taken years, okay? That and a popcorn throw-up bowl. We oh. do have a few things, not many, but a few really embarrassing things that we like to hang on to. Yeah. And eating spicy food, I wish I could. I'm one of those whites that says I like spicy food, but then when One I actually- One of those whites? That's, uh, that says that I can handle spicy food, and then when it comes to <laughs> time to actually put your spicy where well, your mouth you're is, from Texas. It's, it hurts too much. Right, you're from Texas, so you So I've never tried one of those like one chip challenges. Oh, I would never. try it. I would never. I would try it if people wanted to raise money for one. No, what? do not send us one. I'm not kidding. No, she you won't do it, I will. I, know I will. I don't have to deal with you. I mean, I do. Say what you want about this. This stomach of steel. If you do it at your house, and your bathroom nearby, I'm all for it. We could do it in my bathroom. I actually have a clean bathroom now. I'm really proud of you. That's one thing I'll say. I've never been this clean of a roommate. It's because you don't usually care. You're I, It's because I live with people who don't usually care, and then I use that as an excuse to not care. But now my roommate does care. And you love yourself, because if you don't love yourself, no one else definitely is. No, wrong wrong show. So Erica wins, but she decides to burn a Pora, which Abora's house later secretly helps her because Abora's wigs, she said, are not that great. I love the idea that like you get to make them bald. And it's it more than just really, a wig. You it, have to do bald cap drag. And no headpiece. If you had a really cool costume and like the big thing about it that you loved the most was like a hat or a mask. Boom, has to come off. That, that is, is really putting a screw in your tire. But whatever. I didn't think of it that way initially. I thought it was just like wigless. And I was like, well, a lot of people don't even wear wigs like on Dragula. So like if you could, weird. like if Victoria couldn't have done her prosthetics on her face, it could potentially have been such a, a messed up yeah. thing to get stuck with. She did end up doing it to Apora. Do we think that was smart or not? I don't think it was smart game wise. Like I don't think it really helped or hurt anyone. Most of the cast felt the exact same way. Yeah. That she probably should have gone 
on for someone a little bigger in the runway looks, but... <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I was trying to think of a word and I couldn't think of it and I thought you'd jump in and you didn't. Oh, I'm sorry. We no, think but of that. later, later on, it may even be like the next episode where Erica's talking about why she picked Deborah and she's like, I wasn't being petty. Oh, yeah. I was just saying, if you're going to mess with me, you better not do it again. And I was like, ma'am, that's the epitome of petty. <laughs> like, if that's the reason you're doing it, it's to be like, see, told you so. That's the definition that's petty, ma'am. of petty. And I love it. Anyway, whatever. Abora, it didn't end up hurting Abora in any way. But... No, it didn't. Because the focus of this challenge was shoes. They had to be witches and make shoes. Now, let me tell you something. I love that. I love witches. I mm -hmm. love, like, the aesthetics of witchiness. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. And I love shoes. They had to decorate or cobble together their own shoes. Love that. What a fun, I'd love I know, we've never seen a challenge like that. I would love to see other drag competition shows do something similar. I love that. Yeah. Drag, like, drag can be, there's so many parts of the body, okay? It doesn't have to stop at your ankles. That, true. Drag goes all the way to the ground if you do it right. Like, for instance, our shoes right now, so we decided, because mm -hmm. we had that extra time because of our back, we yeah. would do our own, kind of our own shoes. So I spent days kind of scavenging, collecting bugs from around the, the neighborhood, and then I glued them on, so mm -hmm. bug stoning. Right, right, right. Or rind bugging. I would just do, just the heels, because I feel like the toes, it would have been a little too, like, yeah. much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't want PETA coming after me. Not um, again. Will you describe your shoes, because they are stunning. Dunning. Thank you so much. So I did mine laying flat on my back for a few days, unable to move really. You ever have white, white socks? You ever had those? Yeah. So I put those on and then I walked around the house. So now the bottom of them are like gray. They're like dirty. And that's what I'm seeing there. That's so gorgeous. Isn't that gross? Yeah. And you know what? I'm surprised because you love a thin, slim heel, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but these are kind of more of like a flatulator. Yeah, so they are socks. Should we look at these witches? Yeah, let's let's take it to the shoes. So for the actual performance, <laughs> the iconic, I know Gen Zers, y'all are sitting at home going, what? I want a TikTok. Every time I do an impression of a Gen Zer, I know I sound like a boomer. And you know what? Maybe that's on purpose. Maybe I see some similarities. Listen, fight in the comments. First of all, we got to talk about the Boulay brothers. And Alexis Bevels has something she'd like to say. It's kind of weird you haven't brought it up yet, but. Oh, <laughs> this is a, <laughs> this is a very serious public apology to Jack Morda and Swanthula Boulay. You see, the last time I was here, I was drunk. No. I have. She was stone cold sober. I was stone cold sober. Had notes and I went her. to Stone Cold Creamery. I was drunk on ice cream. I was dairy. I was dairy sugar does fuck her up. I was a dairy. I had a sugar. Yeah. Screw the one chip challenge. Do a one pint challenge. Yeah. Uh, fuck me up. Two scoops. Listen, you two, you two, you beautiful two scoops. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry. She I was trying to say Drack and Swan, yeah. and I said Drack and Ward. I didn't realize it, and nobody in our editing team caught it either. No, well, our, our overworked, back-hurting editing team Breaking their backs. Breaking their backs to make you funny. Uh, and I thank them so much. And sweaty. I didn't notice either because <laughs> I always call them. Because her name's Morda. Well, I always call them the big one and the little one, which we I can't know tell, they we hate. Can't tell, we they can't hate that. that just they, for everyone's information. Watching. Just for everyone's information. They really they don't hate like, that joke. They don't like being called the big one uh, and the little uh, one. And again, listen, it's your life, okay? You did call yourself brothers and your actual lovers. I think lean into the funny. I think lean into the big and little. And listen, when we meet in real life, okay, when I'm going, when I go to that air wand to go and look at all the fruit I can't afford, and I run into one of you. We'll talk about it. But until then, they're not ready for I that. I apologize. And that's okay. I will learn one of your names. No, Drakmorda and Swanthula. Done. Which is which? Um, they looked incredible. They looked incredible. They, they always look incredible. Remember this Bonnie Aarons? She plays the nun. Yes. Remember this? She's um she's, Princess Diaries. She's the nun. She's also Princess Diaries. She's what? She's not the friend. No, bitch. 
she's married to the person who's trying to take over. Oh, Genovia. Yeah, she's like one of the bad guys. Okay, love. You I really should rewatch Princess Diaries. I think I said. I watched it's it been all a long time. time. I love it. It's been a long time. The second one too is is really good. Well, I'm rewatching Gilmore Girls right now, so I have to finish that up. I'm almost. I'm I'm going to be finished by tomorrow. That's. I'm doing about a season a day. That's not okay. No but it, judgment. But at this no time, no. But at this life. point, it, it's like a comfort to me, so I can put it on while I'm like napping. So instead of drinking, drugging, yeah, you're instead Gilmore girling. And I, uh, yeah. Do, do you what know you what the problem do. is with? Do okay. Do you know do. what the problem is with rewatching Gilmore Girls? Because I'm an, I'm an empath. I like to take on okay. the characteristics of the people I love. Sure. So Lorelai and Rory just have these crazy appetites and metabolism. Yeah. So they eat a ton and they, they just do. mainline coffee all day every day. Yeah. They're and then so I skinny. think that I can do that too. Your heart will explode. Because so I'm just like coffee, coffee, right. coffee, and and then. You know, I do that. I will have you know, since I stopped drinking, well, d public, let's be public, let's be public service about it. I did drink at the NDA party, but I not signed an much. NDA, so I can't talk about it. <laughs> and not very much. Yeah. No, you, but you, but were, you were normal. Since I haven't, <laughs> you were normal. You weren't like the old you. <laughs> so, true. Since I haven't been drinking regularly or drinking at home, I do find myself drinking coffee more just because I want to affect my mood in some way. I... Even if it's just like a little jolt of anxiety. Okay. I don't know. A show I, I've only rewatched once, so I've seen it twice. Sure. Weeds. Love that Remember show. Weeds and how she's always like this? Yes. She's so skinny. I think that Heart made me always want to have a drink in my hand. So I always need something near or that I can drink. And unfortunately, that's never water. But I should probably do water. Do you have water at your place? Let's look at these gals. Yay! Witches! I love witches. Also, Darren Stein was Who's there. Who's your favorite witch? Tell me to choose. I'll say this, I used to draw witches in the corners of my homework. My mom wouldn't let me look at witch Halloween books, but I would always go to that section in the library and like check them out. Oh, Kiki. Bird K books. Kiki's Delivery Service, that's my favorite witch. Still haven't seen that. Oh, it's really sweet. I know, I really want to see it. Yeah, that's a comfort movie for sure. Mine's Eglantine. Oh, Eglantine. yeah, yeah, yeah. Eglant Eglantine or- From, from Bed, Knobs, and Broom. Or Alphaba, obviously. If well, the Alphaba in question is Shoshana Bean. Oh, see, I am. With Stephanie J. Block. No, she's up there. What's, who, oh, what's the other what's one? Her name? Yeah, her. I just love her voice is so pure. Eden Espinosa. No, but she's great too. What's her name? Jessica Voss. Bosk. Mm -hmm. Jessica Voss. I love her vocals. No, she's great vocals, but I love her vocals. I think. Shoshana can I tell you something embarrassing? Superior vo vocals, and it's not a competition. But if it were, can I tell you something embarrassing? Shoshana would win. When I, well, I'm not. It's all personal taste. Artist sub drag is art. Art nope. is subjective. Alphabet is art. Alphabet are subjective. Not when you hear Shoshana Bean. I'm just. It, she's. I'll tell you this. Do you want to hear something embarrassing? Yeah. When I still lived in Chicago, you know, I had a very successful... I used to live there. Yeah, oh my God, that's crazy. Yeah. I had a very successful bingo night every other Tuesday. Sure. What is a... Okay, I'm so sorry. What is a very successful bingo night? It was packed every time without me trying. And people... Uh, you hate this, but you're really good at bingo. Stop. I'm serious. She would sing Thank live. You. You're just... You well, I'll tell, you, really I'll tell well. you what. I'll tell you what. I think I'll really never... Impressive. I think I'll never be able to replicate that experience. Because that specific venue was a live music venue, so the the sound system and the lights and an actual proper stage, they supported me in every way that I needed to, and they let me do whatever I wanted to. It's on Esquire's <laughs> top ten best gay bars. It's not a gay bar. It's not a gay bar. Esquire magazine said it's top ten gay bars in the in the well, United Well, that's States. why I stopped reading them. I don't trust them. It's so funny because the bathrooms are like as far away from the stage as possible, and the feed of the, <laughs> you can the speakers <laughs> into the bathroom is just her microphone, yeah. so you can't hear anyone responding to her, anyone talking talking to her and a lot of her stuff is like calling numbers and then like talking to someone in the audience. So you're peeing and you just hear Alexis go, yeah? Oh, you looking? I just want to pee. But funnier than that. But funnier than that. I... Anyways, the embarrassing part was she said she was going to be in town. What should I do? And I missed, I DM'd her and said, come to Bingo, I'll save you a table. It's really, really fun. And I promise I won't embarrass you or whatever. To who? To Jessica Vosk. Because she was like performing that week in Chicago. And she's like, what should I do tonight? So I like DM'd her and said, come see me. Bring everyone you want. That's cute though. Yeah. I don't think that's embarrassing. Well, she didn't open. She didn't like check it. <laughs> <laughs> I DM'd Shoshana Bean once when I was going to see her in beaches at Drury Lane yeah. and she met me in the parking lot with whiskey. 
Whiskey's her dog. Abhora got her wig snatched by this witch curse. She Wizard of Oz. She of. was kind of Wizard of Oz. She was kind of the Yellow Brick Road. I thought it was cool. I like that she's pivoted to painting on her head. I thought it was cool. Was that the Yellow Brick Road? I don't know. I think it was just swirly. Okay. You know this about me. When I see a swirl, I automatically assume it's a Yellow Brick Swirl. Okay. Let's go to Eva Destruction. Her witch, she was kind of a classical witch. Get out. But so fucking cool. And the way that her shoes were like I was so glad we skin. saw the close-up of the shoes. You could see the intricate detail. Yeah. The stoning. It all went with the the scraps. I don't... I was so impressed. Also, just the way she manipulates her face. Obviously, mm -hmm. her makeup, we've been saying for years, her makeup is incredible. Perfect. It's perfect. It's, yeah. it's art. High art. We're just wearing makeup. She's just wearing art. And the way that she uses her face, though, really does it for me. I like the performance aspect of her. She's just, yeah. she's next level. And the prosthetics, this was a kind of- It was kinda... scary, too, a little bit. And I really enjoyed her interpretation of shoes. Erica Candy Corn Clash is a candy corn princess. I thought this was cute. Your voice almost went so high that you couldn't speak. I thought, I understand. I, th I thought it was cute. She rolled around in candy corn and candy. But it was her. That's her. That's, that's Erica. Not... It's a little cute. And you can be you, but like there needs to be some elevation. I shouldn't be able to see the hot glue. It's what she did with the candy corn in her hair. It just, for me, that's what stoning me, spooky is. me. That's what stoning is. Yeah, if you do it in like a beautiful pattern or you have shiny objects that take away from the fact that you don't know how to do pattern. This was just candy stuck to some boots. Well, she ate some maggots. <gasps> Did you see that TikTok of the girl who found out her neighbor had died because maggots started coming through the ceiling? No, and she found please. maggots. She found maggots coming. This is Dragula. She found maggots coming through the ceiling. Come to find out, her neighbor had died, and his body was decomposing above her, and the maggots were coming through the floor and falling into her house. So when you say you don't love your apartment, it could be worse. Thank God, I'm. There's nobody above us. You have anything? You'll be the body that the people below you. And you find. know what? I can't ever hear anyone. I can't hear any of my neighbors. That's either terrifying or really nice. Yeah. Astrid Aurelia. Oh, she was kind of like Bone Witch. <laughs> she was kind of like Bone Witch. She was kind of like Bone Witch, and I liked it. Yeah, I like the it. The shoes were a little hobbled together. You know, you could see where she had just kind of tied some stuff on, but I thought it But was... she made them hooves. Yeah, I, I thought, thought that was cool. I love hooves. I liked, I liked looking at it. Yeah. Okay. Kendra Onyx. Now, Kendra, her shoes left something to be desired, and it was really all about the performance for her. I think Kendra has shown us that the level of her looks are not going to be on par with the rest of the cast. Right. It's, it's all pretty pedestrian. But she makes up for it with in other ways. Well, that, yeah. I mean, that's kind of the trade-off, right? And that's to kind of skip ahead to episode three. That's kind of the conversation they, they do, the boulets have to have. How far in this competition can you go on personality and performance? Eventually, we the look not, has we'll got to, to match. So, yeah, I wasn't surprised. Actually, no, that's not true. I was surprised. I was surprised that her heels were an afterthought. Yeah, especially because she... That was surprising. Yeah. She mm -hmm. wet. Well, she, she said that thing and they flash back to her season of her like cobbling her shoe. So yeah. she was like, I'm no stranger to cobbling my shoes. Maybe like she added the rings and maybe she painted them. Maybe it was just the work was too subtle. We don't get the transformation. I think that's really nice. I don't know. I don't... I Off don't with her feet. <laughs> Yovska. Yovska was a lot of different ideas in one. Her shoes were like cool. Teeth. I loved when she turned around though and you saw it looks like a Tim Burton character mm -hmm. on the back of her dress. I think she just got kind of... It was like a skull, but it was candy, but it was... What was it? Yeah, it was a little confusing. The mask, especially when they're standing there during the judging and it's this bright light on what previously was this really stylistic view. Seeing that like kind of candy-ish mask, it all just... There, maybe there if there had been say. something in the performance that would have tied it all together and made it more clear what the vision was. Yeah, but overall, there are always details of Yavska that I adore. I have to say her shoes, the teeth, and just the way that like it was all kind of uneven, which I thought kind of helped serve the look a little better. I was a big fan of the feet. Yeah, cute. <laughs> what would you have done? Wiki, Wiki what would we really have done? What for would what? we have done for shoes? As witches? Yeah. I would want to do something similar to the ruby slippers, since those did belong 
to the Wicked Witch of the East. Oh yeah, that's before a good Dorothy idea. stole them. That's but a good idea. how do you make them spooky scary? Just leave it in the comments below. They'll do it. Well, maybe they're maybe like okay. Remember Bad Cinderella or just regular Cinderella, where the Kit. the original the sister like cut off their toe and their heel to get so the, they shoe could fit to fit. In the shoe to fit. Oh, that's fun. Maybe something like that, or maybe just ooh, like Hobbit's feet. Like I murdered a <gasps> Hobbit and stole its foot. Okay, that's really funny. Uh, stay with me. Patent leather black boot, classic. Yeah, heel. Hot glue, candy to it. Unstoppable. I'm not your Cinderella. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your bad Cinderella. <laughs> Hosto Teratoma, uh, listen, it's fine. It's incredible. What the fuck? Jeez. Everything she does is incredible. Jesus Christ. And again, she only had what, two days to do all this? Wild. What is she? Wild. Like, this is like my fair lady to me, but scary. What? Look at her. Look at how poised and like... Oh, like the races? Yeah. Move your blooming ass! Like Rob Zombie does My Fair Lady, a production of My Fair Lady. Talk about your bad Cinderella. Rob Zombie. Is he one of the Simpsons? No, he did, um... Have you ever seen House of a Thousand Corpses? No. Or Halloween? He just did a version of The Munster. That was... That was oh, bad. the one on Netflix? That was bad, Cinderella. I'm glad that I didn't watch it. I knew it would be bad monsters. Can I say, we went to, okay, when we went to Halloween Town that, that week ago, a couple weeks ago, they had a bunch of monsters stuff, which I thought was cute, because I, I grew up watching the monsters. It Not was live. It was on. It was reruns. It was okay. on. Okay, okay. Yeah. They had giant heads of the family, 3D looking kind of faces of everybody. Wearable or decoration? Decorative. Okay. They all came individually, you had to buy them individually, but I thought just how funny it would be if you did end up buying Grandpa Monster alone. <laughs> that's funny. Because it's just like an old man. If you had been in that Halloween town, you'd probably still be No, laughing. that's funny. I like it. I want one for Christmas. <laughs> you want Grandpa's face? I would actually, okay, take it back. I love it. I love that idea. Right? I want a Grandpa Monster on my wall. Like right there? Right there. <laughs> Shit. Ah! Should have gotten it. Hoso's shoes were were creepy. Bones, flesh. Oh, rats, right? Oh, they were rats. Yes, they yes. They were rats. They were eating and being eaten and just gross. They were cute little beanie <laughs> baby rats, though, and I would love to meet one of those. That's offensive to beanie babies, Hoso. Oh, you know what Twitter account, this is going to be the longest episode. You know what Twitter account brings me so much joy? Beanie Babies. Daily Beanie Baby. I did follow them. I'm still, by the way, off Twitter. I've yeah. never been more happy. Although I'm so jealous. I really, I really I, you need to be I, off Twitter. I was wondering what, what Twitter was like yesterday with, because my recent thing, yeah, with elections, it's like, look, because uh, let's be honest, I would get my news on Twitter because it was the fastest acting, like as the results were coming in. That was one thing that Curtis said this morning, because Curtis loves election too. You know, he loves I like seeing the live, or like the live, like it looks, reactions. It's close. Reactions yeah. Yeah. to like, like my shows, my stories. So this morning, because you know, in the morning time we usually watch, you know what we've been watching? Rock the Block on Discovery Plus. We'll get into that later. And I was like, do you want to watch Rock the Block? And he's like, can we put on the election stuff? I was like, at 8 a.m.? Okay. And so we turned on like the live MSNBC because, you know, Democrat, liberal, you know, those fucking liberals. They talked about Trump for a second and how badly all of his picks went. And then Curtis is like, that's all I needed to see. I have to say, I'm not a news girl. That didn't seem like news. It didn't seem like he got any information from that. What did he need to see? <gasps> Maybe the test was, will I do it? He says <gasps> that's what he wants. I have the remote. Will I actually? I passed the test. Oh my God, we get to stay married another seven years. Oh my God. You've been married for seven years? Feels like it. Your year's coming up. I know it'll be a year next month. Okay. What's year? Paper? Is paper? Paper year? Paper? Yeah, I think you have to pay per year to get married. <laughs> it's an annual subscription um, plan. Okay, for her wedding, she had Jenga, blank Jenga, and then everyone at the reception party, we got to draw on them, and towards the end of the night, there were a few blanks, so I went to town on them. And I've been waiting for a year for a we're reactionary gonna play, tweet. We're going to play Jenga. <laughs> or a uh, text. On our one-year anniversary. Don't tweet. Please don't tweet so what I put on there. we can read all of the blogs. There's, you're supposed, there to, are you're moments. supposed to write like mess, like lovely messages for them to read not necessarily. And then the last... And I did one or 
too. Ugh. So we have it in like a little plastic case so we can see. It's I can't kind of remember. I was very drunk that night. And so in the last year, every now and then when she spots it, she'll go over and she'll pick it up and start to kind of turn it around. <laughs> I'm like, it's too late. Like it's already in there. I'm gonna see it. <laughs> Victoria Elizabeth Black, she's a creepy witch. Incredible. Incredible. Bones, bones shoes. I loved the shoes. I, I liked think, her shoes too. I think the boulets weren't that into the shoes, but. Those are real bones she has from her staff. She literally had to like go kill her sister or whatever. Coco Kane. Bummer. Ah, I was confused and then a little bit let down. Love her. I love her too, and I loved her performance, but I didn't really understand what was going on here. Yeah, the cowboy boot. Yeah, that was a bummer. Melissa B. Fierce. She had the face prosthetic, which she. I mean, she looked cool, but it was hard to tell who it was. Yeah, it was so off-brand <laughs> for her. Off-brand, that's what I but meant. But cool, but it was so off-brand yeah. for her that the boulets kind of made it a point to keep her on stage, even though she was safe, to just let her know, you don't have to, like, get rid of the be fierce part of Melissa. Don't we lose... We like you the way... Yeah, don't lose the sexy ghoul Don't of it show all. us versatility. Don't be versatile. Be same. But, but they, I, yeah, they wanted to see more of Melissa as it applies to the challenge, not like full change. Which was, honestly, when we hear judges always trying to get versatility from people, it is kind of fun to be like, you're doing too much. Don't do that much. Yeah, it, it didn't <laughs> feel like it. out of left field or no, it out felt of appropriate. anything. Yeah, I liked it. The thing that I love the most about these Dragula, these Boulay episodes, because like with the performance that we see as an audience, it's like really stylized. It's sometimes kind of hard to tell who's who. They did a whole performance. And let's be honest, you can't really judge the people's performance based off of the little clips that we see. Yeah. We know that they're watching the whole performance. So. I love when right after the performance and before the judging, we get the boulets alone. Oh, I do like they that. They are sitting by themselves. There's no guest judges. They are so relaxed. They're giggling. They're laughing. They're being shady in what seems to be a very genuine way. Yeah, like it's you not can like hear... rehearsed or anything. No, you hear the surprise in their voice when they're talking about something they weren't expecting. It's really fun. And... I really appreciate when they talk about this person's performance being clunky or whatever, they will show us a clip of it without all of the editing and stuff. They'll yeah. show us a black and white, unedited view of a board tripping over herself or, you know, whatever they're talking about because we can't see that otherwise. I really appreciate that. I do too. I love that. I think it's that's so It's my favorite so part nice. of the episode. Okay, thank you. Thank you for letting me say that. The winner is Eva Destruction who destroyed this challenge. I so loved her witch. I loved her performance of shoes and she is killing it she's on the top again two episodes tops this is what, double top this is such a redemption for for me yeah lot of me spooky me this is the eva her... we kind of knew yes before her season she needed a like, practice round everything that's is in all the it details was. it's it was so a good round. that's all congratulations Congrats. we love you we're so proud which means we have a bottom two yes kendra onyx and yovska I agree with Kendra, given just how misunderstood the assignment actually seemed to be. Yoska, I was kind of half and half. I didn't fully understand the outfit, but yeah. I really enjoyed the shoes. Yeah, and also, like, I want... I, but I think if I remember correctly... I'm sorry, go ahead. I wanted a little more of a redemption for Yoska. Yeah, but they, we don't, they did mention the performance not being great. And yeah. that, again, what we see, we can't really always tell that. So yeah. if that's the case, I could see that. But yes, I was super bummed that Yoska was so early back in this position. What do you think about this little alliance between Melissa B. Fierce, Kendra, and Coco Kane? I think it's fine. I like it. I think they're fun. I don't know if like it's an except like if it's a strong alliance. Like strategically. Every time they mention like the strongest people in the competition, Melissa and Kendra and even Coco to a degree don't usually come up as being like the strongest. Yeah. So I, think, I just I, I as an think... alliance, I don't know if it makes any sense. Well, I just like that they're all friends. Oh, how do I feel about their friendship? Thrilled. It's time we say goodbye to Yovska. Oh, that would be so scary. Also, not really a critique. I just want to see them fall. I want to see what they're landing on. Yeah, I would like to see the underneath, please. I wonder if it, is it just like padding? I bet it's the bodies of past competitors. Oh, God. 
Um, then we move <laughs> in to the next episode. We're going right into the next episode. This is a double feature. We get the moment that I love the most. Well, I just said I love the boulet the most. I change my mind a lot it's because of it's ADHD. It's the current political TikTok. So uh, my brain, I love when they're ta sitting at the table and they're talking about who's going to come in the room. Who do you think I love? Oh, we're at the next episode it? already? Yes, we're at the next episode. Okay. That's when I said we went to the next episode. That's... I wasn't paying attention. Oh, okay. Boom. Kendra's back. Kendra's back. I'm so excited Kendra's back. I'm not excited. Well, I want, I want her to have a little more time. I went into it with the open heart of... I'm a fan of Kendra, the smallest of the boulets. She was saying like, those are the worst shoes of the night. Your shoes are awful. Yeah. I was kind of hoping that would be like a, a wake up moment for her. I think, but Kendra brings something more to the, I as, agree. A, as a character. I agree, but as a, as but a TV as we personality. See, you do have, the look true. is a part of it. True, and true, it, true. It does matter. Well, let's talk about it because the fright beat for this one, it's a, it's a vomit locker. But here's what I think. They should have, I wanted to see him vomit. Other. I thought it was going to be... All of them in the you same. You know the circle they yes. do at the fair, and then they take the ground out, and then you're stuck to the wall as you're spinning around. I've never done And inevitably, people else. always die. When I was in high school, two people died at the Memphis fair. Is that boot cut? Because the thing fell down, and then it, they weren't going fast enough yet. You know what? So people slid down it's and died. It's not worth it. No, so I was kind of hoping they'd all be around each other. Well, I just was like... So they could throw up on so, each other, but so, instead they just put them in a locker. So was everyone... Like, nerd. It wasn't like who could go the longest or like who could do it without throwing up i am did sure did people throw up it feels awful i am sure three minutes can easy. feel so long but on tv unless we're seeing you blow chunks or fall out it's really <laughs> or fart you in a locker as who a hasn't tv spent, viewer who hasn't spent time in a locker right this nerd mm. but they do come back to the long table room to the boudoir and they find out we have to fill the time with some conversation. So we dive right back in to the Abora love Hoso triangle. Astrid love triangle. And We're, we get that the whole episode. Yeah. The, the entire there's episode. not a lot because there's not a challenge. It was just a look. I mean, that was the challenge, the look, which was sci fi future. Oh, was your shoe okay? No, my, I'm so, it's gotten so dirty on the bottom, I thought I'd put on a different shoe. It seems that Hoso has a lot of respect for Abora as a performer and yeah. as a fan of Abora. See, this is why you should That's where never it seems like it ends. meet your heroes. Or you should never let anyone in to your life, ever. It seems like Hoso's being pretty clear now, but I could see how she, she may have, it may have been mixed signals. For Abora, but also yeah, there's all this stuff we don't know too, and I there might be some playing stuff. it up for the the drama of it all, which I appreciate. Right, which is why um, Abora was brought back very... so that we could have more drama, and I I do like it. I do think it's funny though when the other cast members are getting involved because like they need to be a part of the storyline too. Like at one point, Eva walked up to uh, I can't remember, but it it seemed to me, part of me spooky me, it seemed like a producer was like, go talk about how much you hate all this. Because she just walked up to someone and went, what do you think about all this Abora These girl, These drama? girls are run, running me I'm ragged. Sorry. And then she goes to Abora. Okay, see this? Okay, let's talk about this. Because I think she's just kind of a smart cookie, self-producing. Or maybe she is Eva? being produced. Eva. Oh, I think she's self-produced. Well, I think her talking heads, I think that's all Eva. Well, I think it's smart. Eva was kind of getting on Kendra's nerves and Kendra was saying like, you're kind of talking out of both sides of your mouth, which I don't really think she I, is. I think she's I just think being- I she was. I don't, I didn't think she, she was either. She said, I preferred Yavska's look over your look. But, but I then, want you to stay. But I want you to stay. Those things Those can be true. Those things can be true. Yeah. Not to come for Kendra, but I, I didn't agree with her with the double talking. Yeah, I, I didn't either. Say. But it made for some good drama. Yeah. Future. The future. Is now. Animatronics or whatever. Oh, you've moved to the, okay, yeah, the we show, get the floor them. show. Yeah, I'm, absolutely. I don't believe oh, in the future. Oh, we should mention. That's why we I talked out of plastic I'm straws. so sorry. Since what? we did talk about Aurora, we should mention. It's very sad that Melissa, her relationship ended right before this. Oh, yeah. We do get some nice. We did get a little insight. A more friend. We got a friend, a three threesome friend talk. Yeah. And we got to know and, Melissa more. And that was really, that was really tough to hear. I feel I'm, bad for her. I'm falling in love with Melissa. Like, oh, no. Melissa's I'm an icon. Upset. Obsessed. So seeing her cry was not fun. No. Oh, there was this moment where they all made fun tinfoil hats. That's cute. That, I like a little bonding yeah, moment. Yeah, that did, did seem like we were like, okay, we, we get it. You run another ad or something. 
We get the boulets. Now this look is very different from what we've seen in the past. It's silvery robot. They're showing a lot of leg. Mm -hmm. They had the hair pulled back. It wasn't bald. It was pulled back. I thought they were bald for Slicked. a second. Slicked. I thought they looked great. Oh yeah, they always look great. Yeah, I like Funny that. moment though. They do have a critique for someone about them wearing an Amazon bodysuit and Someone made a TikTok about it. They closed up on both the Boulay's necklaces as they're saying it, and then cut to where you can buy that exact necklace off Amazon. That's funny. I love that's that. That's gotcha journalism. Gotcha. And I appreciate and it. And that's, that's how we're going to save this election. Well, the election was already, you know what, we're doomed. Doomed to a fantastic guest judges. <gasps> Alaska, How cute. incredible does she well, look? We love She's her. So She's, the grand, She's the grand dom she, of drag. She really is. No, but David Dismalchian. Yes. Now, for those of you who don't know, Darby is married. It'll yeah. be a year next You're month. You're just now finding out. Her husband's name is Curtis. Mm -hmm. And what he actually does when he's not... Um, Throwing stakes at people. Is that he does acting. He did a movie called Neighbor. His first... And it's called Teacher. Thank you. So well, his and then first, so his first, and so his, his first, first big like thing. starring movie. And it he was, was the star. Shut up. It was David Dismalchin, Curtis, the guest Edward judge. Jackson, and yeah. Kevin Pollock. So we went to the premiere when they had. It's just a little indie film. It's available you, you on, get, it's on streaming on Amazon, and stuff. I think. We obviously we flew out to LA to Los Angeles for the premiere. And sat next to David, and he brought one of his best friends is Steve Ag, Steve Ag, oh, Steve Ag. He was were, in the he was in that one uh, of the um, Guillermo del Toro's Cabinet of Curiosities. He was. One of the episodes. Yes, yeah. uh, adore David and Steve. They were both so fucking nice. And our entire like announcing we're moving and then moving or whatever. David will like text with Curtis like, "How's it going?" He's just he's very kind. Oh, he has David's number. Do you, yeah. have to, do you have his number? Oh, Curtis does. Yeah, but okay. you don't need I'll it. I'll text him. But you don't need it, though. Well, I could just reach out but about a couple. They have a couple have of ideas it. and a couple of scripts. And you know, I got my novel. So we'll reach anyway, out to him. Anyways, very he exciting is so to see him there. Sweet, He's the and nicest I loved his fucking energy guy. as a judge. Yeah. I love it when you're... He was talking poetry. Listen, when you are not readily in the drag world... He, he kind of is, over. though. Yes, he is. His best, one of his best friends is Bitch Puddin'. Oh, I love that. I didn't know They're that. Like, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Well, even if you're a friend of, you need to just come in and show Ally. respect to what these people are doing, these artists are doing, arting. And, acting and he is did drag. it perfectly. Acting is drag. And you honestly, he's I mean? cute. Is he single? No, he's married to one of the most beautiful women you will ever see in your life. Well. And she's a painter. She paints. You know, murals. You know, I'm a painter. Murals. Oh, a mural? Yeah, I couldn't think of the word. She could paint a mural of Grandpa from the Monsters right over there. We and we could have David her. come over. We can afford her. She's got Dune money now. Oh. We're going to start with Astrid Aurelia. Astrid was Eyeball's monster. Lizard Eyeball. Lizard Eyeball's the monster claw hands. I don't think I've ever seen Lizard Eyeball's all over. I thought it was really cool. I loved it. Yeah. I thought it was cool. It was fun. Big claw. Coco Kane? Future sex love loved. sound robot. Giant. Big cone thing. And she went. She was giving a full performance. She looked amazing. I love that. Titties. I love that she had a mirror on her thing so she could just look at herself. That's really important. Yeah. And I like that the judges told us she made that herself in like an afternoon. I just think that's so, she's so much talent and I loved it. Yeah. Erica Clash. Unrecognizable. So good. So good. Dragons. Now, I did Dragons notice are... during the performance, Tell I was me. like, that bitch has a drop crotch. Yeah, it's a, that's, a little... That's a little tough in a, in a tight bodysuit situation to have a drop crotch. And the, the judges did mention it, and I felt indicated. It sucks that that was... Because if it had but just been a little up, bit better executed, up, or like she would have... Shoulders and arms and head. Loved. Last week, Melissa deviates from what she does to do something a little more ghoulish and they're like no 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 we love you for you you don't have to do that and then <laughs> erica completely changes everything about her drag and they're like finally okay abora was an angel eater i liked it okay i so i'll agree i'm gonna agree with the judges i think it was high fashion i love her style and i love the idea of this angel eater because angels are like a moment right now you know real angels are scary bible angels yeah this to me looks like the body of it like remember it clown uh -huh. and then the face of something different 
Yeah. So I get it. I didn't get it though. I don't get it as the assignment, but I agree but I with love the her. I just her body in it. I don't know. It all worked for me, but yeah. but it was wrong for the assignment. Kendra Onyx, grandma the bitch. Great. The talking part. Great. The talking part threw me so hard, and I was making the. I was like, oh, and then I was like, oh wait, this is camp, and I, camp and I think I should like it. Winner winner. But Dragula. Ma'am. Yeah. Ma'am. Ma'am. I don't really know. <sighs> it's frustrating. That's what it is. It's frustrating to see someone who I find to be so charismatic, so likable, yeah. so entertaining, just fall short on such an important element of this show. Yeah. Hoso Teratoma, so oh my fucking cool. God. So cool. I mean, at this she point, makes everything. Hoso does, what Hoso does oh is just like, God. I don't have to worry. I'm just going to enjoy this. And I love that when Alaska was like, even with all of your incredible like look, you're still like, you kind of look pretty. pretty. Yeah. There's still some sort of pretty in there. That is, that's, per it's a perfect thing to say. Yeah. Enticing. Now, Eva Destruction, she was like a... Okay, but you know the meme or the video of the, the creepy robot lady with like the weird face and the, the pole and she's just, she's attached to the mirror, so she's just kind of dancing in the mirror? That's what this was referencing for me. Okay. This bitch. Have you ever seen her? Oh, no. It's really creepy because she's attached to the mirror and she can't do anything but like be slutty at the mirror she's a great body so that's what oh, this that was point? referencing to me oh. and i did get it and i thought oh that's clever and i liked her performance and i liked her face the judges didn't like her that much i thought the look was neat i love look the clear at how scary that is i know i love the clear mask and all of that once the lights came up and i could see it and I saw the Bob the Drag Queen robot bodysuit and then the kind of medieval armor. armor. Then I was like, okay, yeah, this doesn't make any sense. I love you, girl. I, I think you're incredible. And I love the overall aesthetic of the look was cool as fuck. She looked, if you saw it in a club, you'd be like, looked, oh, fuck. Yeah, she looked incredible. Yeah. But once you start really looking at it. Yeah, yeah. And, you, and you look at it next to everyone else. Yeah, I get it. And I there's going to be a few of her looks. She had to make so many looks and she makes everything. So, there, you know, of course, there's going to be a few that she probably could have. If that was, that's what that reminded me of. And I got it. I don't know. Yeah. Melissa B. Fear, she was doing like a predator moment. So cool. And she was like, okay, you want sexy? Great. I'm going to have rhinestone abs. You want stones? I'm going to have rhinestone abs, baby. Loved it. Six pack or like a 66,000 pack. Right? Of Wait, rhinestones. Why? Oh, I'm sorry. Victoria Elizabeth Black. Wow. I was scared I looking was at this. grossed out. I was actually kind of scared. Of what? Of it was scary. Of what? Like, what do you think was going to happen? Okay, I don't like the horns kind of popping out of the skin. Sure. And it was just like the judges said. I couldn't tell if she was frontwards or backwards. Yeah. That was so creepy. It was so well done. Who said it? Was it a Bora that was like, how are, yes. we, supposed to, <laughs> how are we supposed to compete against Universal Studios? <laughs> it's true, though. It that was made me laugh. So good. No. It was so scary. The, it she was just, should be it working me on, out. I it, kept covering my face. I've never, ex I mean, I don't really think I've ever had that reaction to just watching someone's look before. Yeah. I was like, oh. So it should come as no surprise that, well, actually, I was kind of surprised. It is a surprise. They said Hoso was winner number one, which I thought great. I thought great, but I was also like, what? what? After, After Victoria? Victoria? And then boom, Double Victoria win. is also the winner. Two brothers, two winners. Which I think is. It was the right call. But that means the bottom. our bottoms are Abora and Kendra. Two people that have already been in the bottom. One person who's already been exterminated, sort of. Sort of. Tensions are high. Explain Let's talk about to me this culture. how, what and why it happened. I had to watch it twice. Okay. Because I was... I'm so happy you did because I... I was playing something. I had no idea. Basically, they all just said, like, well, a number of them said, Abora, your attitude sucks, and that's why you're in the bottom. And Abora did not take it well, and she said, wow, then y'all better hope I don't come, uh, that I fall through those doors or whatever. After they'd already voted, though. Well, they didn't really vote. They're not doing voting anymore. They didn't vote? They haven't been vote. That was just the first episode. Do you think as soon as they sent home Abora, they were like, oh yeah, we can't do this voting thing. 
Rules change. Maybe. Yeah. Strange. Anyway, no, but they were like, "That's your, funny. Your attitude sucks. That's why you're fucking up." And Astrid was getting really upset. And it, it might be true, but it's not. It's not easy to hear. And Abor took it very bad. And she went to anger. And she said, "Fuck you, cunts." And then the other girls said, "Okay, Which that's taking it to a place that's not okay." The part that I saw that confused me was right before that. Kendra and Abora, Abora are sitting at a table while <sighs> everyone else is like talking and living their lives. Okay. Okay. And Abora's like, they're not even like talking to us. Well, they're not even. The editor is. And Kendra's like, yeah, I mean, we're talking about our thing and they're talking about their thing. Like, what? Well, the editors did this really shady montage of Astrid talking the whole time, even though she was in the oh, top. I loved that part. Because Astrid was a little she bothered that she didn't win. And it was really funny. And I'm not mad at Astrid for it. They played the Star Spangled Banner over it. <laughs> it made no sense, but I loved it. Well, that makes sense because horror. From the prairies to the prairies, oh, where are the prairies? Prairie, prairie dogs. dogs. You know what that makes me laugh? What? It was in the it was in the part where the Boule brothers were by themselves. I think in the last episode, episode two, and one of them was like double, double toil and trouble, fire burn and make it trouble, and it made me laugh so hard because you are good at so many things. But something that you <laughs> haven't quite flushed out yet. I'm not Wayne Brady. <laughs> you will. <laughs> there will be an obvious rhyme. You'll I'll start. Walk up to the rhyme. You'll walk up to the rhyme, and then you'll just beeline and say the first. So you'll be like, "Oh, I got poop in." Uh, it's not so easy. No, no, is it, no. Mrs. Brady? I gotta set it up. I'm in the bathroom doing my dance. I've got a poop and it's coming into my uh, toilet bowl. And I'll be like, say pants. First of all, it's so much better than that leading up to the pants part. But I know, that is and that wasn't true. a good example. But, but that is true. But that is I true. Do, you don't I'm see rhyming. rhymes. <gasps> you know that? Okay. Oh, you don't listen. You know that podcast that's messed Rap. up? Rap. No, that's messed oh. up. Mm -hmm. They were talking today about that condition you get where it's like face blindness. Yeah. Where you can't see someone's face even yeah. if you know them or even if you're looking at yeah, them. Yeah, you're correct. You have that with, like with hair and stuff. rhymes. You don't see rhymes when they're right there. Do you think that's why I am confounded by Nicki Minaj? So we get them back. They crawl up to the top and... Boom, Kendra falls through, which means oh. Abora is saved. Which means next week we are getting so much drama. Oh, we have to be, right? Say, the, say what you want about Abora. She will bring the drama. Her reactions to everything are so odd that I get excited each time she gets pulled into something because I never know where she's going to go with it. I, think I never she, know what her reaction is going to be. I think she feels things so deeply in her feelings yeah. and i also think she knows what makes a good tv character and she does it well i am excited for next week to say the least well make sure you don't miss next week by hitting that subscribe button and of course the notification bell Ooh, yes and join us on patreon patreon.com slash i show the show for stuff uh, other stuff we're also both on cameo so we can send a message to a loved one a hated one to so hit us up on Cameo. Or you can order a Shamio by going to imhotheshow.com on the internet and click Shamio. It's a little it's a little message from both of us to you. Oh, we got the background. We background. The it's intro. like your own little so episode. Gorge. All right, well, we will see you next week. Goodbye, yeah. ugly. Yeah. Darby. Ooh. You know. You got to say goodbye. Oh. Goodbye, Ooh. uglies. Good, that was Wait, worth it. That how was did... worth... No, that was perfect. Maybe if I rub it, something haunted will come out. That's how they jerk you off in haunted massage parlors. Have you ever gotten a massage that ended in I, a good way? I have only had... No, to answer that, I've only ever had one massage in my whole entire life. It was when I was doing a play. This guy in the production, his wife was doing wanted hours, like getting certified to be a massage Ooh, therapist. So she came one day when we had like a two show day with a big break in between. Who are you calling? Oh, my friend Patrick on accident. That was weird. She came in between and I got like a 30 minute massage and it was weird because it was, it was like in one of the dressing You've rooms. You've never had a real massage? No, and I really, really want one. I think I really want one. Okay, I've had both legitimate massages and You've then- You've had happy time massage? Yeah. When I was- Was it from a real masseuse or from like a guy that was just horny? Both. 
not advertised as like a sexy, happy ending massage. It was on the website that like those massages were available and he was the hottest one. So I booked him. I was like, okay. At 25 years old, it was so exciting. And he's like, whoa. And I was like, yeah. And he's like, I just usually, I, I never get clients this young. And I was like, yeah, I don't know. I just really need a back rub. He does the back. Okay. And I'm like waiting to see. Oh, and then when he gets in, he sits up, he goes, do you want me to take my shirt off for this? And I was like, yeah, yeah. obviously. And maybe that was his, can I have a green light to do well, a turkey jerk? No, it's even less subtle, which is great. Consent is so important. I had gotten a massage once by this daddy with a huge dick in Memphis and he had a massage table and whatever, but like he definitely was doing it just for like to rub men's Peeps. bodies yeah he'd be like he had a huge dick he'd be like doing my arm or my back or something and then my hand that's laying on the table he'd like set his dick in it <laughs> oh that's so sweet like but nestling it nestling it cuddle cuddle but he's not doing that this guy's not doing any of that and then i turn over and it's like he does the, the top side which is the worst part of a massage i have to say i don't like doing the turnover part and then he's like you're you're really cute so would you like me to finish you off? And it was just... I think that's so cute. I don't know. It took all the like... I like how polite it is. What are we doing? No, I do too. But I was like, yes, please. <laughs> it was... Uh, overall, it was I, okay. I think that... I yeah. think people just don't advertise. Or maybe like it's word of mouth. I don't know. I, uh, hand, I'm i not mad at it. Hand, like, hand to mouth. Uh, I love that, that option. Decriminalize sex work. Thank you. But I just... I don't know. I was kind of hoping more for the old man energy of like, we both know why we're here. Put your dick in my hand. Oh, cruising. You know? Yeah. I think if I were to ever get one, I would want, I would want it to be like kind of clinical. Like, well, yeah, I wouldn't want yeah. it. I wouldn't, you know, well, we'll see. We'll see which one I get you. No, I don't want that. You're not going to take any free massage. Oh yeah. Well, of course. I'll take consent, free massage. consent, consent. You know what else? I think I want a facial. I remember how you on your um Ooh yeah. Bachelor at weekend. Yes. And you got that gorgeous facial and they like gave you product. At the four seasons. I want that. I want like someone to tell me like, okay, this is what your face needs. I've gotten a few facials since. Like I've I've had like really training ones them. when I worked at the salon, but I never got a real full one. I've never had a facial since I've been doing regular skincare. I've always been very young looking, okay? So I never really took care of my skin. I know I'm paying for it now, but I just recently, in the past like couple years, gotten more into skincare. I would like to go to a facialist now that like my skin's not so bad. Cause it's always like, ooh, what do you do? You do makeup every day, that's not good. I'm like, well, I know, I understand. Okay, well, we'll see you later. Okay, bye.